Video or camera? <laughs> Video. Video. Now, if I talk today, we go to school soon, what's going to happen? Are you going to remember? Yeah. So you better pay attention. <laughs> I will. Yeah? Ma? I will. Hey, you will? Alright. So this is our last one for today, guys. So just make sure, make sure that everything's good before we get too far along. So guys, what we're going to talk about is we do this uh, fire station open day every year when it gets cold. The reason why we do it when the weather changes is what's everybody doing? They're bringing their heaters in from storage. So if it's a gas or electric heater, you need to make sure that it's safe. What else do we need to do when we're using a gas or electric heater? How far do we need to stay away? Does anyone know? Not you, you're disqualified. Do an assessment on your risk to fire in the home. So, the oil hasn't fired. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like it's just about to go, guys. Six minutes, still five and a half minutes. So, apologies, guys. Our, our prop is showing up today. Obviously, and this is the fire we're going to come out from there. Do we have any questions? Watch out, you're with. Are you interested in a free home fire safety visit? No, it's all right. You see, but we do it with the yellow folder. We give you your details. Nice. And guys, we have some spoons here for the adults. Okay, keep looking, we're cooking. Okay, so there, if you want to take one of them, we put them up high to keep them out of the way of the kids. There we go. Okay, so oh, no, it's on fire now. Yeah. It's on fire already. So guys, so guys, if this happens at home, Kira's just simply going to put the lid over the fire. And what do you think is going to happen here? What do you think just happened? Why did the fire stop? Hey, that's cheating. You've heard this before. <laughs> so yeah, they've been taking away the oxygen from the fire. So if Kira takes the lid off, what do you think will happen? Oh, oh no! Right. More so, fire. we've taken away the oxygen. If we put the lid on the stove at home, it might put the fire out, but we're still going to call for help, or we're going to use the fire blanket. But if we use the fire blanket and we put it over, that's it. It's a one use only. We don't reposition it because the fire will get worse, like what just happened there. So Kira's going to put 100 ml, half a cup of water. What do you think will happen? <laughs> so when we do that at home, guys, it's going to be a lot, lot bigger. And we're not going to be Where's outside of the open air. We've got things like covers adjacent to the stove that will catch fire curtains and the like. So it's very important. If we can't safely extinguish the fire, we're better off leaving it and calling for help. Leave the room, close the door, the door leaking. Zero, and go out right side, wait at the, wait at the letterbox. Okay? And make sure you get your brothers and sisters outside. So what's the number again, guys? Zero, zero, zero. Very good, guys. If anyone wants to see the Linda? For a free home fire safety check, you should take the details. Thanks for coming, guys.